Hi, I'm Michael Ducey, Senior Manager, Manager OpenShift Black Belts at Red Hat. And with me today is Kevin Collins. Hi, I'm Kevin Collins, a Managed OpenShift Black Belt here at Red Hat. So today, Kevin, we're going to talk about Azure Front Door. So let's dive right into it. Yeah, perfect. So specifically, we're going to talk about Azure Red Hat OpenShift. That's over here, also known as ARO, and how that can integrate it with Azure Front Door. So you think of ARO, that's a turnkey application platform that enables developers and operations to be more efficient. And we have Azure Front Door, which is a turnkey networking solution that developers can use to connect their uh, applications using advanced networking technologies to provide capabilities that we're going to talk about today. Great. So uh, why, I guess, first off, why do we want to use Front Door and why do we care if I have an ARO cluster? Like, give me the customer kind of use case. Sure. The main use case we're going to talk today is our recommended architecture to have the most secure cluster environment in ARO is to have a completely private cluster. What that means is you have the control plane that's in a private subnet. This will have a 10 dot address, most likely. And then we'll have also the worker node address, a subnet that also have a 10 dot, just to represent a private subnet. Right. And then these um, subnets, they're connected by an internal load balancer. It's still 100% private. So we're going to connect to the uh, control plane subnet over 6443. And then we're going to connect to the applications on 80 and 44. Three. So as a you know operations person or a developer, all the work that I need to do is so I'll somehow have to get into this VNet or have it routed in through my corporate network. And then all the work that I do will go through this internal load balancer, either to my applications or to managing the cluster. Correct. So if you look over here as a developer or someone from your operations team that these interact with the cluster, they're going to go through the load balancer and they're going to go through this route to the control plane. And then if you have application users, so your end users of your internal application, and remember, this is all in your own corporate network. Right. There's no connectivity outside. They're going to go in, go through the internal load balancer, and go through port 80 or 443, depending so, on that. So say we're hosting our corporate intranet or something like that, that would be an intranet user to go through and actually access the application that's hosted on the actual OpenShift cluster itself. Correct. So how do I provide access to external users that aren't on my corporate network? So that's what we're going to talk about today with Azure Front Door. Sure. So this Azure Front Door has a number of, of great features. Uh, one of them is a content delivery uh, network. This is, you can view this as a caching layer that works at the edge. So static files, uh, content, videos, things like that. Yeah, so this Front Door is routing, again, at the edge where we have over 200 or just short of 200 different edge locations to provide this ultra low latency. So for your static content, it would route just right through the through the edge. So seamlessly to the end user, uh, it can deliver this content and you know and have have fast response time and and high quality of service. Exactly. Okay. What are some other features of Azure Front Door that I might want to take advantage of with my ARO cluster? Yeah. So one is uh, security. So we know security is so important, especially if you have an internet facing application. So we have a web application firewall again included in Front Door. It also has DDoS protection. In addition to those you know, security layer tools, we also have certificate management, which is also incredibly important. So you can do uh, TLS and then uh, general certificate management. Okay, so these are the features of Azure Front Door. But again, how do I connect it all right. together, Kevin? So if you think of uh, the way you connect different Azure services together, again, this is a native uh, the core Azure service, ARO. Then you have Front Door and other core service. We connect them through something called a, a private link service. And what this does is it takes front door. We're going to connect it to the private link service. Or we're going to send this to the internal load balancer. And the nice thing about this, it remains on uh, the Azure Microsoft backbone. So it's a complete, you know, it's a secure, high-performing connection between your front door and the internal uh, load balancer. So this allows me to kind of take advantage of kind of the cloud networking model of having like a hub and spoke type model where I can connect all the disparate services or even multiple ARO clusters uh, that are on private networks through this private link service so that everyone can talk to one another or developers can take advantage of different services in Azure. Exactly. So when you have a, a user that's going to connect to your domain, it's going to actually show up as Azure FD. .NET. 
And so that'll be the, if you do uh, like a dig or NS lookup on your domain, that's servicing traffic on your cluster, it's going to return the address as Azure FD.net. So it just gives you one additional layer of security. Right. So uh, tell me about why, uh, you know, you mentioned TLS cer certification or uh, termination and why it's important. Tell me about some of the features for Azure Front Door uh, around TLS certification and why would I want to take advantage of it? Yeah, so Azure Front Door can terminate the TLS for you, which is typically a very compute intensive task. So Front Door is a purpose-built application that can do this TLS termination for you if you wish. You can still send the encryp encrypted traffic all the way to the cluster if you want. But if you terminate the traffic at Front Door, freeze up your worker nodes and not have to do the heavy compute task of decrypting and terminating TLS. So I might be able to use smaller worker nodes because they don't have that overhead of, of doing the uh, TLS transactions and computational costs. That's right. So uh, another thing that we see a lot with our customers is, you know, we're not just running one application in our ARO clusters, we're running multiple applications. So does that mean I have to have multiple Azure front doors or how can I handle basically, you know, one domain and directing people to the right application behind the scenes? Right. So at this point, all we have really done is set up a secure connection between front door and ARO. Yep. But it's not so we've terminated our TLS, we've pushed the things we need into Edge. Uh, so... How do we take it one step further? Yeah, so the next thing we need to do is we create an origin group. And the origin group says, send traffic from this specific domain that you register with uh, with front door to the cluster. So in, in conjunction of setting up the origin group, we also need to set up uh, DNS. So the way we do that is we get a token from Azure front door, and we take that token, we create a text record in your DNS. Uh, Server. So once once that registers itself, front door is aware of that domain, and then we can say, I'm going to send traffic from my app domain, top level domain. I'm going to send it to the internal uh, load balancer. And then your other question is, you have multiple apps. Well, you can also do path based routing. You can do path one for uh, application one, path two, application two. So you have many options when it comes to front door and how you're going to send that traffic from front door to your cluster. So from a user perspective, it's all just one domain that we're hitting, but depending upon the path or even the domain or subdomains, we can route people to different applications so that they can use those particular apps that we have exposed. That's right. And your other option is you can have multiple domains in front door as well. So you have lots of options when it comes to a front door, how you configure it. So it sounds like a kind of a one, one stop place for allowing a front door for your application. Or that, domain. <laughs> that's right. The way I see it, just like Arrow is a turnkey application platform, we have front door turnkey networking platform as well. So let's go back to this TLS certification real quick. So one thing that's always a challenge for ops uh, is rotating certificates. Does Azure front door help with that at all? It does as well. So once you register your domain in front door, you can have front door actually issue and rotate the certificates for you automatically. So it's one less thing for you to no. worry about. You can also import certificates if you want, but the easy button, again, turnkey solution, and front door, manage those certificates. Well, front door sounds like a great solution uh, if you're using IRO and probably if you're using a lot of different services in Azure. So thanks for taking the time uh, to talk to us about it today. Yeah, uh, and thank you for watching. Uh, again, if you want more information on Red Hat's products and services, uh, feel free to go to our website, redhat.com.